Mushrooms grow quickly compared to most fruits and vegetables and don't take up precious space in your garden. Most hobbyists start out with oyster mushrooms because they are the easiest to grow. Mushrooms are a healthy addition to any diet as they are low in calories and fat, high in fiber and contain high amounts of potassium and selenium. Mushrooms are best grown indoors where the temperature and light conditions can be more readily managed. Things you'll need to grow your own oyster mushrooms are straw, wheat straw works best, plastic bags, medium or large size, oyster mushroom spawn which you can get online or you may need to find your local supplier, spray bottle and water. Method Before you begin, wash your hands and clean all your surfaces well. It's very important to be hygienic when cultivating mushrooms as you do not want to grow the wrong types of fungi. Once you've got all the materials, the first thing you need to do is pasteurize the straw. This essentially means heating the straw in water to around 70 to 75 degrees Celsius and holding it at that temperature for around 45 to 60 minutes. Pasteurization kills the bacteria. Before you put the straw in the pot, cut it up into small pieces around 1 to 3 inches in length. Once you've pasteurized the straw, take it out of the heating pot with tongs and let it sit in a clean tub while it cools down. It's important you don't put the mushroom spawn into the straw until the straw is at room temperature. Otherwise, you will kill the spawn. When the straw is cooled down, pack your robust plastic bags with straw quite tightly and then distribute some of the mushroom spawn throughout the straw. Put about three or four pieces of spawn-covered dowel in each bag. The straw should not be dripping wet, but it should still be damp from the pasteurization. At this stage, sterilize a skewer or a nail by pouring boiling water over it and jab holes in the bag every three or four inches or so. This lets some air in, but not too much. The mouth of the bag should be closed with a rubber band or thread. You now have to find a home for your mushrooms. Keep them out of direct sunlight. They like some indirect light and grow best at around 15 to 20 degrees Celsius. Now you wait while the mushroom spawn develops into mycelium and begins taking over the entire bag. Mycelium looks a bit like white furry cobwebs and you should start seeing it develop in the first couple of weeks. It's very important that your bags of straw stay moist but not dripping wet. Spray some water if required. About four weeks later the mycelium should have spread across the entire bag of straw and your mushroom should start forming. Cut some